case. Let's do a problem and see how it all works. Solve the following ordinary differential equation. Now, the first thing you probably notice is that the dy dx is split up into a so-called differential form. And this form is, is quite common, a, a common way of writing exact equations. So here, m would be this first function, and n would be this second function. Now, the first thing we need to do is to actually test the equation to see if it really is exact. If it is exact, then the previous methods will, will, will go through. So let's, let, let's remember our test for exactness. So I'm going to label this star. And the, the, the important question is, oops, is star exact? OK? In other words, does m sub y, or dm dy, equal n sub x, dn dx. So this is the important OK. Now, because these are polynomials, then they're, the continuity of the partial derivatives are all satisfied. That's not a big deal. So let's work out these partial derivatives and then compare them. All right, so m sub y is we differentiate with respect to y while holding all the other variables fixed. So m sub y is going to be 1. M sub, uh, n sub x, differentiate everything with respect to x while holding the other variables fixed. We also get 1. So if, if we compare them, then yes, they are equal. We have equality. And so our ODE is exact. All right, so let, let, let's go on to the solution method now. Basically, what, what this does is it guarantees that the method we're going to apply will work. So it's very important. If you miss this out, then you may run into a lot of problems because your OD may not be exact, and so forth, uh, and, and so you may, the method may not work. OK? All right. So this is important. Assume our solution Y is, I guess, contained in the following form. Okay. Uh, with the following okay so we've assumed that our solution y is implicitly defined by this equation, and what we want to do is construct or generate this big F, this big F function. Okay, so what we do is go. Okay, let's look at the partials of big F and compare them with these. I guess you know these coefficients here, or these functions. Okay, so. All right, so we get to the following situation. We've got two equations, and we're going to integrate both of those equations to produce some sort of form for big F. OK, so over here, I'm going, it seems natural to integrate both sides with respect to x. And over here, I'm going to integrate both sides with respect to y. That will leave f over here and f over here. And then we'll compare the two expressions for big F. So over here, I integrate with respect to x. So the first one is going to just give me big F. 
So I'm going to have x squared here plus xy plus x. So basically I've imagined everything is a constant except for x and integrated normally. Okay, but there's a little twist here. The constant of integration is not necessarily a constant. You need to put in some sort of function involving y, okay, because partial derivatives are involved. Right, so this is not necessarily a constant, it's a function of the other variable, y. So that's what so, so so this is derived from this. Let's integrate both sides of this expression with respect to y. Okay, so we integrate normally with respect to y. Imagine all the x's are constant. And again, there'll be some function of integration, say h of x. All right, so now what we do is compare. Compare these two expressions for big F and choose g of y and h of x so that everything here is equal. All right, we can see we already have some common terms. So how do we choose g of y and h of x to make these two things equal? Well, if we chose h of x to be x squared plus x and g of y to be y squared plus y, then the two expressions would be one and the same. Okay? So we compare all right g of y is going to be y squared plus y and h of x is going to be x squared plus x so we take those two things well we, we take either of these put in g of y say and Remember, our solution is assumed to be of this form, okay? So we'll write down our particular f. Okay, so for our particular problem, This is the form of our solution. Okay, now note that it's in a form called the implicit form. I don't necessarily have something like y equals a function of x. It's a bit messy, but um, it, it's the best that we can do in many cases. Okay, so let's review what we've done there. The first very, very important step is to actually check to see that our problem really is exact. Okay? So. D are these partial derivatives equal? If they are equal, then we can go ahead and assume that our solution, y, is, I guess, implicitly defined within this bigger function, big F, of two variables. Okay? We then look at the partials of F and set them equal to these functions here, these coefficients. From those two, I guess, partial uh, differential equations, we integrate both sides and then form two expressions for our, our big F. We compare, find our functions of integration and then write down our particular solution.